All right. Hey, good evening. How are you? How are you guys? How are you guys doing? Is everybody good doing all right? All right. Good evening. How are you? Is everybody doing right? Is everybody doing all right? Doing fine? Great. Yeah, thank you. Okay, great. It's it's good to have you one more time. Okay. Uh, so, question, guys. Uh, did you complete your exercise? We don't complete that. El ejercicio, el knowledge check. Lo pudieron completar? Yes, you could. Okay. Great, great. So. Uh, Si tienen problemas para completarlo, siempre, eh, you always let me know, please, okay? Siempre avísenme si tienen algún tipo de problema para completar los ejercicios de la plataforma. Because uh, we, we do a check on it. Hacemos, hacemos revisiones a ver, si, y a ver si están funcionando bien y todo, para que ustedes no tengan ningún problema en el futuro. So, you guys, um, well, welcome one more time. In uh, today's lesson, uh, we are going to learn about, we're going to learn about uh, irregular verbs, okay? Yeah, we'll learn about irregular verbs. And uh, also, we'll practice our knowledge check, okay? Vamos a comenzar haciendo knowledge check para repasar eh, lo que vimos la clase anterior, okay? So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, share my screen okay so you guys give me a hand with this please all right here we go all right look uh here we have this can you see my screen can you guys see my screen raise your hand if you can can you not yet so I guess it, now you can. All right. Yeah, maybe it was popping up. All right. So let me see. Somebody has a message here. Yes, you can. Awesome. So uh, now, yeah, let's do this. Let's practice. So my parents, mm, house in the suburbs. Hey, let's see the options here. My parents have or my parents has. What do you think? Have. All right. Um. My parents have okay my parents have all right pretty good how about the next one my mom and dad go or goes go mom and dad go go is, yeah go okay muy bien you remember s is only for third or third person Singular. All right. Good. Uh, my my parents are busy, so I. Let's see. Uh, let's see the options here. So I. Do. Do. Yeah. Do. Good. Good. So I do a lot of work at home. Okay. This is just as a as a as a preview. Es solo como una una. Una introducción, okay? So let's uh, check on the rules. Notice we don't use an S here. Vamos a ver los ejemplos acá. Vamos a ver los ejemplos de irregular and regular verbs. So uh, look, for example, here. Okay. For example, this, I, you, we, and they have. Vamos a aprender ahora sobre irregular verbs. Si se recuerdan, ayer, uh, in yesterday's class, we learned about other verbs, otros verbos, que solo se les agrega S o ES, okay? But, uh, y, uh, those, are, those are called, a esos les decimos, regular verbs regular verbs. Esos son verbos regulares. But we also have irregular verbs. Irregular verbs are uh, are the ones that uh, 
that change. Son los verbos que cambian un poco cuando los utilizamos en tercera persona. So when we use them in third person, they they change. All right. So let's practice. Look, uh, can somebody help me reading this? Alguien me puede ayudar a leer lo que es uh, leer la pantalla on the left, please, en la parte izquierda. Mi teacher, Gaby Jiménez. All right, go ahead, Gaby, please. Todo, verdad? Yes, yes. Okay, simple. Simple present statement with irregular verbs. Yes. I, do we, they, I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. Great. He, she, it. My father has a car. My mother does a lot of work at home. The bus goes downtown. Okay, all right, very good, very good. So, cuando hablamos de irregular verbs, eh, tenemos tres verbos. ¿Cuáles son esos tres verbos? Do you remember which are, are those, uh, those uh, three irregular verbs? So, what, do you remember those uh, three verbs? Have, do, go. Have, all right, have, do, and go. Have, do, and go. All right, uh, so I have, you have, we have, they have, but he has, she has, and it has, All right? I do, you do, we do, they do, but he does, she does. And it does. Or I go, you go, we go, they go. He does, she does, and it does. So that's uh, that's the, how we use these uh, irregular verbs. Así es como se utilizan estos uh, verbos irregulares. Oh, how people call them irregular uh, verbs. So I'm going to put this on the chat so you can have it for reference. So les voy a poner en el, en el grupo para que lo puedan ver. Okay, just a sec. I'm going to snap it here and leave it in the group. All right, so it's, it's there in the group too. Ahí lo tienen en el grupo también para que lo puedan ver. So uh, that's what we're going to do now. Uh, we are going to give examples, okay, using these verbs. So, please, let's uh, participate now, okay? Anybody, uh, let's ask, uh, yeah, let's ask uh, Marvin. Marvin, can you give us an example using the verb, uh, using any of these verbs, have, do, or go? It's okay, Marvin. Don't worry. Uh, so uh, you, uh, uh, you 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 make a sentence using the verbs have, do, or go. Hace una oración utilizando uno de los verbos have, do, or go. It, it can be about yourselves. You know, it can be about yourself, puede ser sobre usted o sobre, digamos, otra persona. So, give it a try. Have is okay. para... Okay. Say again. My dear is hopeful or I'm um, Say again. Otra vez, por favor. Uh, my father has a... Uh, Computer. That's a good sentence. It is pretty good. Hey, anybody else? Uh, does anybody else want to share? Uh, 
uh, I had a uh, seven. Okay, great, pretty good. All right, uh, now uh, please. Thank you very much, uh, Marvin. Now let's hear somebody else, another person, please. Uh, let's, yeah, let's ask uh, Sylvia. Sylvia, can you share an example, please? Sylvia, are you there? Hello, teacher. Yes, go ahead, please. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Um, my sister has a black car. Perfect. Yeah, that's a, that's a great sentence. Now uh, let's ask, uh, who's this? Pablo, you wrote your name backwards. Yeah, go ahead, please, See? Pablo. Uh, my sister yes. has a big house. That's a great example too. My sister has a big house. Great, love it. Pretty good. Uh, let's ask uh, somebody else. Uh, how about you, Esther? Can you ask a question too? No. I mean, can you can you uh, make a sentence too, please? Okay. Um, my daughter has. A new shoes. Your daughter has new shoes. Okay, new shoes. All right, it's just one. All right, it's it's uh, plural. New shoes. Great. Very good. Very good. So, um, wait a second. All right, I'm back. So, uh, you guys, now what you're gonna do is this. Uh, I'm gonna divide you. I'm gonna divide you in small groups. Lo voy a poner en grupos pequeños y Lo que van a hacer ustedes, and what you're going to do is this. You are going to give uh, an example about each verb. Van a dar un ejemplo sobre cada verbo. Like, for example, I, I say, I go like, I have a, I have a, I have a guitar, and uh, I... I do homework once a week and uh, my parents my parents go to work by bus or I can say I go to work by car okay entonces vamos a dar un ejemplo con cada uno de los de los verbos okay Here's uh, here's the twist. Aquí está el, el, como el reto. Try to use, uh, try to make sentences about other people. Okay, vamos a hacer oraciones sobre otra persona. Think about a special person. Think about a special person. Una persona especial. You know, somebody you appreciate a lot. You know, and uh, make these uh, sentences about this person. Okay. About, sobre una tercera persona, para que utilicemos la inflexión de la tercera persona. O sea, he, she, and it has, does, or goes. For example, uh, my, mother, my mother has a small but beautiful house. My mother has a small and beautiful house. Uh, and uh, she does the housework. She does the housework. Eso significa... Hace como la limpieza de la casa, por ejemplo. She does the housework. She does the housework. Okay. She does the housework. And, uh, and, uh, she goes, she goes, uh, she gets around by bus or she goes to church by bus, by the iglesia in, in bus. She goes to church by bus. So uh, what I want you to do is uh, thinking about uh, is this, you know, first think about a special person, you know, somebody you, you appreciate a lot, 
somebody you love a lot. Y luego vamos a hacer uh, tres oraciones. We make uh, three sentences about this person. Vamos a hacer tres oraciones sobre esa persona que nosotros consideramos especial. Okay? So, yeah, let's do that. All right? Entonces, pensemos en esa persona y luego la, la, vamos a decir nuestras oraciones. So, first, I read my sentences. Okay? I, I said my sentences. My mother has a beautiful house. Uh, she does the housework and uh, she goes to church by bus. Hey, how about you, Alejandra? How about you? Can you can, did you hear that question? How about you? Cuando decimos, how about you? Es como que diga, y tú? Okay, how about you? Yes, uh, I have a car. Yes. And my brother has a motorcycle. Great. How about you? All right, mm -hmm. how about you? That's the question I make. How about you? How about you? So, yeah, you remember that question because you will use it. All right. Hey, let's work in small groups. Vamos a trabajar en grupos pequeños y vamos a hacer, eh, vamos a compartir las oraciones. Then we ask, how about you, uh, Larisa? How about you, Ricardo? Hey, how about you, Kimberly? So, hacemos la pregunta, how about you, para cederle o para decirle a alguien más, hey, y, 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 y tú qué, o sea, o, o, y, y tú qué tal, or what about you, All right? So, let's use, uh, let's work in small groups and uh, ask questions. All right. Uh, let's please accept uh, accept the invitation. Accept the invitation. I'll send you. So let's see. Mm -mm. Yeah, four people per room. All right, there we go. Please accept the invitation. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's share our sentences. Vamos a compartir nuestras oraciones. All right, good. Uh, go ahead, please. Um, I have a question. Yes, go ahead, please. And it's correct the Uber gas for multiplaza. Uh, goes, goes. To. Goes. Uh huh. Yeah, goes to. Mm -hmm. Yes. Goes to. Okay. Yeah. Thank That's you. Good. All right. Welcome. All right. So, are you, do you, are you ready with your sentences? My mother has a new cell phone. Yeah, good, good. And my friend does the homework. All right, good, good. It's pretty good. That's it. Yeah, great. Now let's, uh, I'm gonna, please ask uh, somebody else, you know, what about you, Gabby? What about you, Louis? So ask, uh, okay. have How other people participate. How about okay? I have three three sentences. Yeah, go ahead, please, Gabby. Okay, she washes her hands. I play soccer and he sleeps. Okay, good. He sleeps. All right, great. All right, somebody. Uh, what about uh you, uh, Luis?
eso sí. Pero en el caso de Das, como yo lo tenía por irregular, entonces ya en una oración, eh, por ejemplo, la que decía ahí, my mother does a lot of work at home, que sería mi madre trabaja mucho en casa. Eso es lo como que mi mente está tratando. De... El, es que el dos, el dos es de hacer. Porque, por ejemplo, él puso una que dice, she does the housework. Eh, dijo que era como que ella hace la limpieza en la casa. Entonces, ah. el, dos, el dos significa, ahí lo ocupamos como hacer. Como hacer. Ajá, es presente. Ajá, pres, presente. Presente, presente simple. simple. Ajá. Uh -huh. She so does the housework. Uh -huh. Y goes, goes, sí es este de ir, pero o sea, siempre para las personas y she eat. Uh -huh. oh, ok. Entonces sería. El has es de tener. De tener. Sí, eso sí. Yes, yes, that's por ejemplo, cool. she has a car, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, Yeah, that, that's good. Those are great examples, guys. Muy, muy buenos ejemplos. All right. So, uh, yeah, please uh, share more examples. Um, yeah, go yeah. ahead, please. Uh, how, how about you, Christina? Uh, my sister has a dog. My father has a work, my friend goes travel, my aunt does a party, my mother goes to shopping. My, all right, good, good. My, those are great examples too. Okay, great, pretty good, very good. All right, hey, somebody else please. Uh, how, how about you, Carla? Uh, my daughter has a bike. My son does PlayStation. My mother goes to the church. Goes, right? Goes. Goes mother. to the yeah. church. All right, good, good. All right. Uh, para, para do, casi siempre do es como hacer algo, okay? Entonces, uh, for PlayStation, uh, you say, my, my brother plays on this uh, PlayStation, okay? Do casi siempre se refiere como a hacer una actividad, o sea, como hacer ejercicio, do exercise, do the housework, hacer la limpieza, or do homework, hacer tareas, okay? All right. O sea, que en esta oración tuvo que haber sido My son does play football um, O le quito el play uh, No, puede ser My son plays football Ok, mm -hmm. solo plays Porque do significa como hacer It's like mm -hmm. hacer algo Ok, mm -hmm. entonces hay como ciertas eh, Ciertas eh, expresiones Que van con do, por ejemplo Homework, housework uh, Que más Exercise, esas van con do que significa uh -huh. hacer algo. Okay? Hacer algo. Ajá, pero digamos, juegos, uh, deportes, siempre se dice play football, uh -huh. play video games, uh, play uh, chess, así es. All right? okay. eh, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, para decir, está cocinando, o ajá, está cocinando. My mother is cooking. My mother is cooking. So yeah, that's no a se little... ocupa el do ni el dos. No, no, no. No, 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 it's not necessary. Ok, eso es otra, esa es otra, esa es otra, como, otra construcción, otro tipo de oraciones. El presente mm -hmm. continuo. She is cooking. All right? No. Good. So, uh, I'll go back to the other groups. Ok, vamos a revisar los demás grupos. All right. Okay. Bye. All right. Thank you. Continue okay. practicing, please. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, he does spinning. All right. Good. Good. Okay. Somebody else. Somebody else. More sentences. Hello. 
Sí, nos hemos quedado un poco con el DAS complicados. Tenemos... Con el DAS tenemos un poco de problemas oh, okay. para armar la, la, oh, right. la, la oración. Yeah, don't, don't worry. So, uh, DAS es casi siempre, es, eh, se utiliza como, como el verbo hacer, ¿ok? Entonces, uh -huh. eh, solo hay, hay, unas, hay unas cuantas expresiones que van con DAS. Por ejemplo, eh, do. Um, uh, do or does do homework okay my uh, my brother does homework okay my brother does homework o sea él hace la tarea otra de las colocaciones con, con do or does es uh, housework housework lo que les había explicado housework es como eh, como los quehaceres de la casa la limpieza my mother does Uh, my mother does housework. O sea, mi mamá hace la limpieza. Si se fijan, do funciona como el verbo hacer. Y muchas de las colocaciones que van con do también son prácticamente las mismas que utilizamos en español con el verbo hacer. Ok, so, otra es uh, do housework, do homework, do exercise. Do exercise también eh, va con, uh, va con, uh, va con el, ver el verbo do. Entonces pueden utilizar esas. Do the cleaning, hacer la limpieza. También va así. Uh, otra que va, do the dishes. Entonces, eh, al regresar a la sección, a, a, la, a, la, a la sesión principal, vamos a trabajar en el, en el verbo, en el mm. verbo do, porque como que ese ha estado un poquito de problemas. But it's okay. Mm. Pero vamos a, yeah. vamos a solventarlo ahora. All right. Good. Gracias. All right. Very well. Good. Thank you. All right. Okay, great. Uh, now that everybody's back, uh, we're going to, vamos a practicar eh, colocaciones con el verbo do. Okay. Eh, I want you to remember, vamos a, vamos a enfocarnos un poco en las, las ex expresiones que van con do, en caso de que les hacía, eh, se les complicaba. Okay. So, collocations uh, with uh, do. Ok, hay, hay, unas, hay unas cuantas. Por ejemplo, cuando do funciona como un verbo principal, como ustedes lo pueden ver aquí en la... Les voy a compartir la pantalla para que lo puedan ver todos. So, when you, when you use a do as a main verb, look at this. Cuando utilizamos el, el do as a main verb, eh, Pueden utilizarlo como con, eh, con ciertas expresiones. Por ejemplo, do homework. Okay? Esa es una. Do homework, o sea, hacer tareas. Eh, do housework. El que les había puesto en mi ejemplo anterior. Do housework, o sea, hacer, eh, lo, hacer las tareas de la casa, la limpieza, por ejemplo. Do exercise. Entonces, uh, so when we speak about I, you, we, they, I say, I do homework. I or you do homework. Or uh, we do our homework. But they do their homework. All right. But, but uh, 
when uh, we speak about he, she, and it, cuando hablamos de he, she, and it, utilizamos uh, does, okay? My mother, uh, my mother does housework. My brother does homework. And uh, she, ec uh, she does exercise, okay? Entonces, esa es la manera en que utilizamos do, cuando es un verbo principal. ¿Qué tiene prácticamente el significado de el verbo hacer? ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, les, voy a, les voy a compartir una, también una imagen de las cosas o las colocaciones que van con el verbo do. ¿Ok? Para que ustedes las, uh, las, uh, las puedan tener y también voy a, voy a tomar una foto y la vamos a, a tener en el in the portal, in, in, the, in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat. So, uh, any other Excuse question? Me, sir. Yes, go ahead, please, Sylvia. Este, no estoy agregada al chat de WhatsApp. Ah, okay, bye. Entonces, Entonces, por favor, me agrega. Sí, vaya. Lo que puede hacer, eh, Sylvia, es revisar el correo revisar el correo de, de, ah, okay. de inglés corporativo y ahí va una serie de una serie de links está ah, el okay. de la reunión está el de el de su usuario de el de, el de su usuario de la, de la okay. plataforma y ahí abajo está el uh, grupo de WhatsApp entonces le da clic okay. uh, le da clic a ese revíselo desde su teléfono mejor para que okay. lo pueda ver bien y, y la, Gracias, automáticamente la, la va a agregar uh -huh. okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Anybody else? Any, any other question? No. 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 We cool. No. All right. We're right. Fine. So yeah, uh, those are collocations with do. Oh, yeah. All right. Great. Great. Anybody else? Uh, the hey. Can anybody share their sentences? Again, que quiera compartir sus oraciones, please. Um, let's ask uh, Veronica. Veronica, do you want to share your uh, your sentences, please. Thank you, Chair. Yes. Mm -hmm. My sister has house. My mother does the house work. My brother goes the to, to the city. All right, all right, good. Those are good sentences. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, how about you, uh, Herbert? Herbert, can you share your your sentences, please? Herbert. Hola, hola, hola. Yeah, go ahead, please. Me escucha. Yes, I can hear you. Pardon, no lo entendí. Okay, uh, can you just a second. Can you share your sentences? Puede eh, compartir uh, sus oraciones. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister has a new car. My son goes to university. My brother does pasa. No sé qué también las oraciones. Your your brother does does what? Pardon? La, the last one, the ultima. My brother does. My mother, my mother. Your my mother, name. my mother does pasta. Oh, all right, good, all right, good. Um, my mother makes. Okay, cuando hablamos de algo que hacemos con las manos, like something creative you do with your hands. Cuando digamos hacemos algo como un platillo o como uh, como digamos eh, artesanías o cosas así utilizamos el verbo make de hecho eso le iba a preguntar ah. esa, esa, una, esa era una de las dudas que tenía porque ahora haciendo una, una oración de hecho lo, lo, lo practicaba con la compañera Kimberly y de hecho mm -hmm. le íbamos a preguntar esa, esa, esa inquietud que tenía yeah. ahora yeah. ya me la respondió right. o sea, yeah. cuando hacemos algo con las manos en vez del dos va el make uh, do or does, eh, utilizamos el verbo make, que make uh, significa siempre, como digamos, hacer, 
pero implica como, un, como cierta creatividad. ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, cuando digamos eh, make breakfast, por ejemplo, cuando digamos usted dice que hace, la, hace el desayuno, no dice do uh -huh. breakfast, dice make breakfast. Vamos a hacer esto, eh, Louis, eh, Herbert y, y, y and everyone. Voy a descargar, eh, voy a descargar en mi teléfono las, un par de imágenes de las colocaciones que van con do, las que van con make, para que ustedes, y las voy a poner en el, en el chat de WhatsApp, so you can, para que las puedan ver, ¿ok? Y puedan oh, ver perfecto. qué va con do y, qué, y cuáles van con make. No, eh, no es así como, pero no es así como el, 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 el gran problema de eso, pero sí es bueno saberlo, ¿ok? Pero en general, In general, what you have to remember is this. Do, it's like a, an activity, okay? Y uh, make es casi siempre como crear o hacer o algo con sus manos. That's the mm, difference between do and make. Yeah, sort of, uh, fabricar, yeah, crear. Something like that. When it, when it uh, implies creativity, it's uh, make. But, but when it's simple, en repetitive, cuando es como simple, repetitivo, algo así, utilizamos do. Por eso, housework, we say do housework. Uh, do homework. Do exercise. Porque no es, it's not a big deal. No es una gran, no implica la gran eh, dificultad. Yeah. Ah, yeah, good, good. All right, uh, anybody else? Any other question about, uh, about, uh, about uh, the verbs? Do, make, go? Any other? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, so uh, I guess uh, I guess we can uh, we can continue. Okay. Uh, les iba a mostrar solo por referencia. I'm gonna show you the the this image and and I will also share it. Y también se las voy a compartir en el en el grupo de, de WhatsApp. The collocations with uh, do. So let's, yeah, let's take a look at them. Uh, can you see the screen? ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? ¿O está cargando todavía? Is it popping up? Is it loading? Popping up. Yeah. Yes. Uh, all right, good. So that's an example. Look, I have another one here. Seven, uh, seven collocations with do. All right, do business, do crossword. Entonces, algo así les voy a les voy a mandar, algo así les voy a mandar en el en el en el en el, en el, en, en el WhatsApp chat, but I'll double check them. Okay, voy a revisar bien que sea tenga buena la información. Okay, so for example, here you have a uh, do exercise, do uh, do a, a job do accounting, do everything. So, yeah, le voy a mandar una... una perdón. Yes, go ahead. El, una, eh, algún link para donde uno puede hacer eh, eh, así como ejercicios, que nos pueda recomendar. Mm, digamos una página, eh, I think uh, uh -huh. we, can, we can use, uh, you can use... Uh, Ego for you, I think it's the name. This one, ego for you, and uh, English. They're in the chat. English halfing. Those are really good. Esas dos son muy buenas. También. Uh, let me see if I remember any other. I think these these ones will will do it. Yeah, I think there is another one. Woodward. English, Woodward English is a good one too. And here we have plenty of exercises. So if I find any other, si encuentro más, eh, se los voy a compartir. Gracias, yeah. teacher. Gracias, yeah. gracias. Very, very welcome, guys. So, uh, yeah. Now uh, let's think about the negative, the negative, how we make uh, negative sentences with uh, the, these uh, three verbs. ¿Cómo hacemos el negativo de estos uh, verbos? Okay. 
For I, you, we, and they, I, you, we, and uh, they, or I, you, we, they, we say, I uh, don't, I don't, uh, I don't go, all right, don't go, or don't have, don't have, and uh, I, and uh, don't, let me see, don't do, okay? Cuando hacemos el negativo de estos verbos para I, you, we, and they, solo utilizamos la, la, el, el auxiliar, the auxiliary, don't, okay? I don't go. For example, uh, I don't go to the supermarket every day. I don't, okay? I don't have a motorbike. I don't have a motorcycle. Okay. I don't have. I don't do homework because I don't have, I don't go to school. I don't do homework. Okay. Cuando hablamos de I, you, we, they y queremos hacer el negativo de estas oraciones, o sea, de estos verbos irregulares, solo utilizamos don't. But when uh, when we use uh, we talk about other people he she and it we use doesn't look at the chat I'm putting all of this in the chat he she and uh, it we say uh, he doesn't he doesn't uh, go to church. For example, he doesn't go to church. Hey, bad boy. All right. He doesn't go to church. And uh, she doesn't. Um, she doesn't have. Uh, she doesn't have a house. For example. Así hacemos el negativo. Doesn't have. She doesn't have a house. And. Uh, uh, she doesn't do housework. Mm. I no sería she don't has. No. No, have. no, 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 no. She doesn't have. Uh, y aquí viene el punto. Como ustedes estamos utilizando el verb, el, el, para hacer el negativo, utilizamos el auxiliar do or does. Entonces, does es para tercera persona y no se cambia el verbo. Si se fija, en todos los negativos que tenemos aquí en el chat, okay, en todos los negativos que tenemos aquí en el chat, ningún verbo cambió. Go, have, and do. Son lo mismo. Okay? No se les cambió su forma. ¿Por qué? Because we have an auxiliary. Tenemos un auxiliar que toma esa inflexión. Okay? So, she doesn't do housework. She doesn't have a house. He doesn't go to church. No se cambia el verbo para hacer el negativo porque uh, tenemos un auxiliar que ya lo cambió. Right? Good. Uh, does anybody else have another question? I have a question, teacher. Yes, go ahead, Silvia. Estos auxiliares son únicamente con estos verbos que hemos visto este día o con todos los verbos irregulares? Uh, con todos los verbos irregulares e, e irregulares. Uh -huh. so, lo único que les quiero mostrar okay. es que eh, no, no cambian en la forma negativa pero porque tienen el auxiliar. Por ejemplo, podemos utilizar el esto. auxiliar. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, podemos hacer una oración negativa. Uh, my brother doesn't play soccer. Estoy utilizando el verbo play. My brother doesn't play soccer. Ok. Entonces estamos utilizando el verbo play. ¿Qué sucede acá? Eh, usamos el mismo auxiliar doesn't. Ok. My brother doesn't play soccer. Ok. Or uh, I don't. 
I don't uh, listen. Uh, let me see. I don't listen to the radio. I don't listen to the radio. That's another example. Okay. Entonces, uh, do or don't, uh, so do or doesn't, uh, don't, uh, don't or doesn't, son para negativos. Okay. Siempre independientemente de los verbos. Okay. Okay. Siempre que lleve auxiliar, su verbo no cambia. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Exacto. That's the point. Okay. Yeah. You, you are right. You are right. That's the Thank rule you. in some. Yeah. Hey, anybody else? So, uh, yeah, now what I want you to do is this. I want you to make uh, negative sentences. Vamos a practicar, vamos a practicar también las oraciones negativas. Uh, I want you to make negative sentences uh, still about the same person. Recordamos que estamos hablando de una persona que nosotros apreciamos, a special person. So let's talk about this special person, but I want you to think of negative sentences, okay? Like, uh, for example, look, I said, my brother doesn't play soccer. And uh, my brother doesn't, oh, I have to mute the, let me see. Uh, let me see. My brother doesn't have an old computer. My brother doesn't have an old computer. All right. And my brother doesn't doesn't go to school. My brother doesn't go to school. So uh, I want you, again, I want you to think about this special person or this, uh, this uh, person you, you appreciate and uh, make sentences about them. Okay? Vamos a hacer unas cuantas oraciones y las vamos a compartir acá. All right? Okay? So uh, does anybody have any sentence to share now? Alguien que tenga una oración para compartirla? Yes? My uh, father doesn't work. Uh, say it again, uh, Ivan. Can you say it again? My, my father doesn't work. All right, good, good. My father doesn't work. Yeah, negative sentences. All right, good. Now somebody else, please. Uh, Edith? Do you have a, a, a sentence to share? Eh, es mi primera vez en esta clase. Oh, Buenas noches. <laughs> good evening and welcome. Sí. Welcome. Sí, yeah. uh, pues, thank you. Uh, sí, la verdad que me costó ingresar, pues, este, uh -huh, tenía desactualizada la, la, la aplicación Zoom, entonces hasta ahorita pude ingresar. No oh. sé en qué clase va. It's the, it's in class two, lesson two. Y estamos, creo que en el uno punto, en, uh, en el uno punto, wait, wait a second. It's 1.9, I think. Yeah. En la parte uno punto nueve. Yeah, that's where we are. Uno punto seis sería. Yeah. Yeah, let me see. No. Yeah, simple present okay. statement. Okay, uh, gracias, no. gracias. Yeah. That's where we are, 1.8, 1.9. So, yeah, that's where we are. In the part of 1.9 is lo que le... Ah, no, todavía no es cierto. You, you're right. That's for next class. My bad. Yeah, 1.6. Yeah, 1.6. The simple statements with irregular verbs. Yes. That was for next class. Sorry. Sharing our sentences. All right. My sisters don't... All right, Pablo. Don't go. All right. Don't go to school. All right. My sisters don't go. All right. Don't go. All right. Good. Very good. Very good. So, 
uh, let's continue. All right, let's continue. So please uh, share your examples. Let's share our examples. Somebody else, please. Uh, negative sentences. How about uh, Rocio? Rocio, can you share some sentences, please? Uh, my brother doesn't have a car. All right, good. My brother doesn't have a car. Great, great, very good. Hey, uh, somebody else, uh, Kimberly, can you share another? Kimberly, can you share another? Yeah, I can see. Okay, great. Um, my brother doesn't homework. Okay, my brother doesn't do homework. Doesn't do. Okay, recordemos que homework va con do. Doesn't do homework. Okay, good, good. That's good. Teacher? Yes, go ahead, uh, Larissa. Uh, my son doesn't make a cake. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, my son doesn't make a cake. All right, great. Very good, very good. All right, aquí estamos utilizando irregulares e irregulares. What matters is that you speak, okay? Lo importante y el final de todo es que hablemos, okay? So, you can use regular and irregular. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you express yourself. Hey, Mauricio, any sentence to share, please? Mauricio? My cousin? Yes. Doesn't to doesn't go to church. Uh, you're right. My cousin doesn't go to church. Hey, that's a great example. Very good. Yeah. Hey, uh, let's ask. Uh, let's ask Ricardo. Hey, Ricardo probably joined uh, joined recently. So, Ricardo, how about you? Can you share a sentence, please? Rick, are you there? Marvin, my family don't go to the park. All right? I guess uh, here we can say my family doesn't. All right? Doesn't. It's, it's a, en la familia es como, no es un objeto, pero es un concepto. Okay? Y sería como un it. Okay? But it's okay. Good example. Uh, Rick, Ricardo, are you there? Can you hear me? I guess he can. Oh, how about you, Veronica? Can you share uh, another example of yours? My sister doesn't go watch movies. All right, that's good. My sister doesn't go to the movies, right? Yeah, okay. Very good. That's great. Uh, Christina, can you share another example, please? Um, my mother doesn't play video game. All right. Good. Good. Very good. How about uh, Luis, uh, Luis Dagoberto? Can you share another example, please? My father doesn't listen to rock and roll. Your father doesn't listen to rock and roll. All right, that's good. Um, uh, how about, uh, let me see, how about Alejandra? Alejandra, can you share an example, please? Um, my brother doesn't drink coffee. Okay, my brother doesn't, all right, doesn't drink coffee. All right, good. That's a, that's a good that's a good question. Or that's a good sentence. Yeah. Uh, here, uh, Rocio is asking me about uh, about my family about uh, family. Yeah, family. In this case, it's it's uh, it's uh, like a concept. Okay. No es como no se toma como como un grupo de gente como un plural. Okay. Family is in este caso es singular. Es como a, como un concepto, digamos. It's like a concept. Y se toma como it, como un singular. Yeah. 
in American English, right? In British, it doesn't. In, in, the, in English Britannico, it's different. Ahí sí, como family, class, y todos esos, sí se toman como un grupo y se utiliza la forma plural. Pero en, en Americano, es singular. Yeah. All right. Good. Well, you guys, hey, look, time really flies, man. For real. El tiempo se nos, <laughs> se nos acaba. So if you guys have any question, uh, please, uh, this is the time. Si tienen alguna pregunta antes de que terminemos, pueden, uh, pueden, pueden, pueden uh, hacerla si desean. Estaría bien. Yes. My daughter doesn't go to sleep. I need to sleep. I need to <laughs> We go to sleep. <laughs> All right, you need to go to sleep, but your daughter doesn't. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, you know, kids, this time, uh, kids are ooh, like this. You know, they are so energetic. Yes. All right. Good, good. That's a great sentence. Yeah, pretty good. All right. Hey, uh, somebody else, any other sentence or question that you want to ask? Uh, cualquier eh, oración que quieran compartir o, o que quieran, eh, okay, o alguna pregunta que tengan? No? Isn't there any? So, man, uh, I guess uh, we, I guess we are, yes, person here. Yeah, I guess we are done here, okay? Because, uh, yeah, this is all for today. So, I uh, will see you tomorrow, okay? Nos vemos, nos vemos mañana. All right? Yes. All right. I think, thank you. I thank everybody, and I hope you guys have a good night. Good night. Good okay? Good night, good night teacher. Right. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. All right, sleep tight. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.